Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the boy Nelson Char here from Chelsea Avengers here. Back on your screen, guys. Today, guys, I am standing near this large steam locomotive. Look at this. See it's sitting on its own track. Some outlets. Look at those doing that. There's the old headlamp right there. Looks like this. There's like the pistons, where the piston is to run the, all these wheels. That's where we would help it move. Looks like this is engine number 25. There's the boiler. More pistons. Up there's the bell. There's the chute where all the smoke will come out. More. Looks like some hoses for something. There's the firebox right in there. Right in there behind that car. That's where the firebox is. And here's the coal where all the uh, engine's coal will be stored. There are the wheels. So it would normally be stored inside there. Then it's also got this flatbed car. Some wood on it. And this is an engine that it produced in 1917. And used as a logging company, com company, company. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's on its own little track. Yeah, oh, that one. It's like all rusted. Yeah. There's the brake hose. There's the company that this train was used for. Yeah. Pretty old looking train. And the car doesn't run anymore. Danger, stay off the train. <laughs> doesn't even work. And there's the info. Arizona Lumber and Timber Company purchased this bottle and steam engine in 1917 for lumbering operations in and around Flagstaff where the engine spent its entire working life. The city of Flagstaff purchased number 25 in 1995. Canvas water bags hung out the engine's window and eventually rubbed off the number 5 on each side resulting in two spots affectionate, affectionate nickname. This display is dedicated to those who worked in the Flagstaff Ted industry over the last 110 years. June 1999. Wow. So this is a really old train. Divided a couple hundred years out. I'm surprised, I'm surprised that, that, uh, that it's even made on the metal. Huh. Probably like cast iron. Well guys, hope you guys enjoyed that tour of this video. If you guys did, then make sure to go down and punch that subscribe button and also punch the bell to never miss any new videos. Also while you're down there, go ahead and like the video. If you got five likes, I will do some more trade tour videos. And yeah, that's gonna do it. Good luck on your adventures, travel safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!